What's up, y'all? I uh, just uh, want to share a word with you real quick. Uh, I've got the fan hanging out in the house, and uh, just got a few minutes I want to share with you. Um, you know, you ever wonder why uh, someone's heart is just so cold, or um, or it seems like uh, their, their heart is just so dark? Um, I was reading over at Romans chapter 1, and uh, pick it up in about verse 18. It says this, it says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven upon all ungodliness, and all unrighteousness of men who hold down the truth in unrighteousness. It says, because that which is known of God is manifest in them. So, so that which is known of God is, is manifest inside someone who is holding down the truth in unrighteousness. And, for, and because it's God who manifests it to them. It says, for the invisible things of Him, both His internal power and his divine characteristics have been clearly seen since the creation of the world. We can take a look around at, at all the things in the world and see God's manifestation and divine characteristics. So it, it says that having seen this, being perceived by the, by the things that are made so that, when they, so that they would be without excuse. You know, this is where I, I can... I, you know, I read this and I wonder, you know, is there really even an atheist? Uh, because, you know, just my own personal opinion, I don't believe in atheists. I believe in people who claim to be atheists um, just are mad at God, you know, because they cannot deny the existence of God because all creation screams of the creation of God. So, but listen, it, it goes on to say in verse 21, it says, because they, though they knew God, you can take a look around. You cannot deny the existence of God. They knew there was a God. They can see His characteristics, His divine characteristics. They knew God, but they did not glorify Him as God and did not thank Him as God, but rather became vain in their own reasonings and their hearts, lacking understanding, were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And you know, man, we take a look at a lot of what's going around in today's world, what's going on, not just outside of Christianity, but inside of Christianity, uh, about those who, you know, they know God. They know that God exists. They know, you know, they don't know Him personally and intimately, but, but they, they, they know of His divine characteristics, and yet... They choose not to glorify Him for those things, and they choose not to thank Him for those things, yet they choose to lean upon their own reasonings, and their hearts become darkened. They profess to be wise, but in God's eyes, they are becoming fools. It's sad, because the more we see in Christianity today, we, we see this, this darkening happening in some of the pop culture Christianity, um, but we also see some 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 great movement in in the in the realm of discipleship. And, and, you know, it just breaks my heart to see the darkening uh, when we begin to to depend on our own reasonings and we we don't give glory to God and, and that we don't thank Him for all that's going on. And listen, it says that they change the glory of the incorruptible God into the likeness of an image of corruptible man, of birds, of four-footed animals, and of reptiles. We, we don't give glory to God where God where it's deserved, which is everywhere. And, and when we don't thank God for where it's deserved, which is everything, we begin to make our own little gods. Maybe it's our reputation. Maybe it's, it's our status in the community. Maybe it's my position in the church. Maybe... It's, it's my bank account. Maybe, it, you know, whatever it is, we begin to make our own little God. We begin to carve out things in our life and place them on the throne of our heart. And we become fools and dark. So I want to encourage you today. You know, I've been thinking about the scripture for like four or five days, man. God just, I've read over it a bunch of times. God just dropped it on me. But let me encourage you, don't let your heart be darkened. Take the opportunity to just give God the glory. Take the opportunity to give God the thanks that is, he, that, that, that is His, that is rightfully His. Because we take a look around and we see all that's going around in our lives. I take a look at my family. I take a look at my children. I take a look at my marriage. I take a look at where He has me in life. And I have 
to give Him glory. I have to give Him thanks. Not because everything's perfect, but because it, 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 it's a beautiful picture of His characteristics. I thank Him that I depend on Him for my financial situation. Because if I were dependent on me, well, I'd be a fool. And, and, and I thank Him for my marriage, the good parts and the bad. Because if I were depending on my marriage to stay together for me, well, I'd be a fool. And I thank Him for where He has me in, in my job situations and where He has me in my other relationships and just where He has me in my faith because i got to give Him glory because if I don't, I'd be a fool. So give Him glory and give Him thanks today. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.